Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll be looking at configuring a PPTP server as well as client. So let's jump into the video. Okay, similar to Triple POE, PPTP allows us to establish a VPN tunnel between a client and a server. However, unlike PPPOE, this happens at a layer three level. So you will use IP addresses to connect to. So you'll specify a PPTP service IP from the client to connect to and the server needs or the service needs to be running on the server in order to form that connection. Um, whenever you are connecting with PPTP, it is using 1723 uh, TCP to communicate and form the tunnel. And it will also be using a protocol known as GRE, which unfortunately uses or causes a lot of overhead on the network. So PPTP, I don't want to say it's it's a bad uh, tunnel because it's definitely it has its uses. Um, however, it is coming back from a, an older time of how to create these types of tunnels, and uh, it's definitely not as as great as as some of the other options that we have okay so let's get into actually configuring um, pptp by logging on to our server firstly so i'm just going to go into inbox find my neighbor connect onto it uh let's connect and i'm just going to zoom in uh why is this not zooming in now uh control there we go. Okay, so to enable PPTP, we first go to the PPP or triple P um, configuration or menu, and then we need to find the PPTP server. So unlike triple PoE servers where you specify servers, you need to just click on this tab or button for it, and then you can set that the service is either enabled or disabled. It is disabled by default, so you'll have to come here to enable it firstly if you want to make use of PPTP and then you can set your authentication modes as well. Um, we won't be using any any spectacular profiles here. Maybe we'll create a profile quickly just for PPTP. So let's create a profile. Let's call this uh, PPTP clients. And here we can use point to point addressing as well. So maybe I'll just use 10.1.2.3 or 10.1.2.1 as my server. And let's just add a IP pool quickly. So the pool we can call um, PPTP clients, which is 10.1.2. Let's make it from .2 to 10.1.2.254, just in this example. All right, let's quickly find that address list or that pool. And that's it. I'm just going to add this for my profile. Now let's add a secret, which a user can use to authenticate with. So my secret might just be um, user one, password one, two, three, four, five, six. And my service, I'm going to set this to PPTP. I'll set the profile to PPTP clients as well. And let's just quickly head back to our PPTP servers and set the profile here as well. So now we've set the interface, we've enabled the service. We've created a profile and we've created a user as well that can be used to connect. The nice thing with PPTP is you can use your Windows machines, for example, to connect with uh, Windows can connect using PPTP. It's very <laughs> straightforward. That's actually how old it is. You can use stuff like LTTP as well, but um, for the most part, you might see a user connecting using PPTP. All right, that is PPTP from the server. Let's quickly configure it on the client. So I'm just going to close the server connect to Ramon on my server, then I'm going to connect to my client. If it's up, it should be up. Let me just quickly make sure that Ramon's enabled on this uh, remote router quickly. Tool Ramon set enabled, yes. And let me just make sure that it's enabled on the main computer as well. <clears throat> there we go, there's the device, let's connect, let's zoom in. And let's see, there is a triple P, and then we can just add a new interface, I'll create a PPTP client. I'll just call this to office. 
And then we need to specify the dial out setting. So here we need to specify what we're connecting to. So in my example, that is 192.0.0.1 but that could have been an IP on the internet. That, that's the nice thing about these types of tunneling protocols. You don't need to be directly connected. It can happen across the internet, which helps so much. All right, let's give the user as the username user one and the password was 123456. Let's add a default route and let's hit apply. And then we see it's already connected to office. And if I look at my routes, I'm getting a default route out. I've got my point to point tunneling working Cool, so that's awesome. So if I had another office that I was connecting to with the PPTP, I could actually get to that office over the PPTP. So great. This was a brief and quick overview just how to set up PPTP. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.